have to put the calabash on the fire. It will hot very well. Very, very well. Then this is the nipple. Then you press it so that very well, so that the nipple will go. You'll be pressing it like this. In the hearts of Big Basama community is home to a young gift, Ilya, who was subjected to this practice at the tender age of 10. Often performed by mothers, grandmothers or female guardians, breast ironing involves using heated objects to press the breast in attempts to make them disappear. Gift's mother, Mrs. Kandi Ilya, expressed her deep regret for having subjected her daughter to this painful procedure. So my daughter, when she did 10 years, she, she grew breast. So for my own thinking, I mean, to say what she grew, uh, when she grow breasts quick, now what you gonna make boys look, uh, look outside with that? So now what you make, I can't do the breast iron for her, so that I made the breast go back. Speaking to young gifts, she emphasized that the experience was a traumatizing one, which has been hard to forget. The first day that the thing happened, it was in the night. My mom, when I was asleep, my mom said I should come out. I come out. She said I should wait for her son to do something. I said, what, what is it? She said I should remove my clothes. And I asked her, why am I going to remove my clothes? She said I should not ask her any questions. She just removed my clothes. I said, OK. I removed my clothes. Then I saw her bringing a small calabash. She hit it in the fire and then use it to massage my breast. Okay. So it was very painful that the next day I was not able to go to school. The second day, I thought she would not do it. The second day, she did it again the night. She said she is going to do it until my breast is gone. So I should keep enduring it till she's done. I said, okay. Gift's cousin, who witnessed her audio firsthand, spoke about the drastic changes in Gift's behavior during the time of breast ironing. She was not that free with her mom again because after that, you know, her, the way she used to be with her mom, she would just feel like, ah, my mom is wicked for doing this to me. So the way she was relating with her mom was no more there. It reduced because of the pain. Even when they grow, I see my friends, they do some people, they are more that they do them. Some people, they do by themselves. So me, I can't do, I can't do myself. Then I was like, ah, is this my mom? Am I sure she's really my mom, that she's doing this to me? She was like, I'm sorry, but I have to do it because you are not up to the age to be having breasts. And I just wished and prayed it didn't happen to my cousin sis because it was really bad. She shouting all night for one week. You know, it was really, really bad. So I felt I felt really bad for her. And I, I and I even thought the mother was wicked for doing that to her. Challenging the status quo, Mr. and Mrs. Orsu, members of Pigba community, are actively fighting against breast ironing. They educate young girls and women about the dangers of this practice, aiming to break the cycle. In fact, we have discovered almost three to uh, four to five people that have done it already. But the people that we are about to do it are almost six because they said uh, be, when the, the breast is making men to come to their children to rape them and all that thing. It is quite unfortunate that uh, they are. They pass a lot of trauma, like the experience we got from this village. Uh, she said when the mother wanted to do it, she cannot deny the mother, despite the fact that the mother said she was once in that same situation. So we now discovered that when we were asking her that uh, in a situation like this, how do you feel? She said it used to be pains. She would go through pains. And nobody to say, no, don't do that to me, don't do that to me. She has to bear it because she's a child. Medical expert Dr. Eina Omoke 
warns of the severe health risks associated with breast ironing, including breast cancer, discoloration of breast milk, and disfigurement of the nipple. It can cause injury to the breast. Serious injury can also cause burn on the breast. Another thing that can happen is um, it can cause the formation of cyst. And this cyst has a collection of fluid which over a long time can cause abscess. An abscess in the breast is not what one can should think about because it can cause other complications like an infection. And an abscess in the breast can lead to an infection. An infection is not in the breast is not usually very easy to heal. Social media users have expressed shock and outrage at the continued existence of breast ironing. While breast ironing is classified as a criminal offense under the Nigeria's Violence Against Persons and Prohibition Acts with potential jail terms and fines, there seems to be a lack of documented persecutions. This raises questions about the effectiveness of legal measures in eradicating the practice. Combating breast ironing requires multi-approach, educational campaigns, community engagement, and stricter enforcement of the act are crucial steps towards protecting girls from this harmful practice. Naomi Oleribi, ADBN News.